What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next example, dealing with quadratic equations. So we're told that a rectangle has a width that is 17 centimeters less than the length, and the diagonal is one centimeter more than the length. And we have to find out what the perimeter of this rectangle is. So to start off, I'm going to draw a diagram of what we are working with. <laughs> Now, notice we're not told the width or the length, because then we'd be able to answer the question pretty easily. We're just told how they relate. So we're told the width is 17 centimeters less than the length. And then we're also told that the diagonal, which is this line right here, is one centimeter more than the length. And so everything is relating to the length, the width, and the diagonal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce a variable here where x is going to be the length of this rectangle. So that means this is going to be x over here. This side is the length. And then the width is 17 less uh, than the length. So that's going to be x minus 17. And then the diagonal is one centimeter more than the length. So this length of this diagonal over here is going to be x plus one like that. And so notice that we have these different lengths with the diagonal in terms of a variable x. And so what we want to try to do is relate them and solve for what that x is going to be. And so how can we do that? Well, notice that right here, we are dealing with a triangle. And not just any triangle, notice that we're dealing with a right triangle. And as we know, just in general, if you have a right triangle, if this is A, this is B, this is C, the hypotenuse is C, which is like this diagonal here, we know that Pythagoras theorem holds like that. And so we can relate all of these with the Pythagoras theorem. Because we know that x squared, let's put all of these in brackets, plus x minus 17 squared, this is going to equal the hypotenuse squared. So that's going to be x plus 1 squared like that. And now notice that we have an equation over here where we can solve for the single variable the x. So really this is the toughest part here, coming up, understanding the problem, and then coming up with this equation. Because from here it's just algebra as we've been working with before. And so what we want to do, as usual, we want to expand everything here, bring it to one side, and then solve the equation. So the x squared, we can't um, expand that any further, but this x minus 17 squared, that's like x minus 17 times x minus 17, so we'd end up with x squared uh, minus 17x minus 17x, which would be minus 34x, and then we'll have negative 17 times negative 17, which would give us positive 289, like that. And then the x plus 1 squared, that would expand to that right there. And so what we want to do now is we pretty much want to bring everything to one side and then solve the quadratic equation. Notice that here we have two x squares and over here we have one. So I'm going to bring everything over to the left in order for that leading coefficient to be positive. So let's actually first do this in steps. So these two, those are like terms. So we'd end up with that minus 34x plus 289. Uh, is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Let's bring the x squared over. 2x squared minus x squared would give us x squared. By the way, I'm skipping a bunch of steps in between here, writing it all out. If you want to write it all out, you can. And then the 2x comes over, becomes a negative 2x, negative 34x minus 2x would give us negative 36x. And then 289, the 1 comes over. That would be 289 minus 1, which would give us 288 and that's gonna be zero, like that. And so notice we end up with a quadratic equation here, a quadratic equaling zero. And so let's see if this quadratic will factor, and I believe that it actually will. Um, 
So notice that for the quadratic, the A value is 1, the B value is negative 36, the C value is 288. So the AC value is 1 times 288. And so we have to find two numbers that multiply to 288 and add up to negative 36. And those two numbers will be negative 24 and negative 12. Write those two work. Negative 24 times negative 12 gives us 288. Negative 24 plus negative 12 gives us negative 36. And so what we could do, we could decompose this middle term. Let's just work with the left side like that. So from these two, we could take out an x. Uh, from these two, we could take out a negative 12. 288 divided by negative 12 gives us negative 24. And then notice we could take out an x minus 24, and we're left with an x minus 12 like that. Right? So going back to the quadratic equation, this quadratic, if factors into x minus 24, x minus 12 is equal to 0, like that. Now, remember, we're solving an equation, so we got to find the x values. When does x minus 24 equal 0? When does x minus 12 equal 0? That's going to happen when x is 24. This is going to happen when x is 12. But those are the two solutions, but remember, we have to take those, plug them back into our work problem, because this is not just an abstract general quadratic equation. We're dealing with a word problem. And notice that an x value of 12 wouldn't be admissible because, notice here, we would get a negative width. 12 minus 17 will give us negative 5. And we can't have a negative value for the width. So this here wouldn't work. So x equals 24 would work. And so we would have a length of 24. We would have a... Um, a width of what? 7, right? 24 minus 17 would give us 7. And then we'd have a diagonal of 25. And we don't actually even need that right there for this question because we're finding the perimeter. We just needed that expression for the diagonal in order to create the equation and solve for x, right? So we got the length of 24. We got the width of 7. What's the perimeter going to be? 2 times 24, right? There's two lengths here. And then 2 times 7, there are two width. And so 2 times 24, remember this is in centimeters. That would be 48 centimeters. This would be 14 centimeters. And so we'd end up with a perimeter of 62 centimeters. That would be the final answer. Okay, so. We first set this up as a right triangle, use Pythagoras theorem in order to set up the equation, solve for the x values, see which ones worked, which one gave us positive values for the length and width. We got 24 for the length, 7 centimeters for the width, so the perimeter ends up being 62 centimeters.